Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fourth and final video. We're going to have a look at the ECM WF42 day slash six weeks look at model for this fourth and final video with a UK and Ireland focus. And I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Just to say that first. A video release day was our 6 UK weather forecast with also this January Friday and 10th 14 there as well. So please check out all of today's business content. So to everyone for doing that. The reason this is being released this evening rather than Saturday morning, as it would normally uh, be so, is that tomorrow morning, Saturday, we have got the second uh, summer 2024 season one roundup, getting all the long range models together for the second time this season, see what they're all showing for the summer. And so that is the reason that uh, this video is being released on this Friday evening. Thank you so to ECMWF.int for supplying the charts as well. Thank you so much, EC. Right, let's start off with the uh, Week one mean that sea level pressure anomaly taking us from the 29th of uh, April to 6th of May. By the way, get 10th of June with this. More about that a little bit later on. Da -da -da. Um, but for week one, uh, we start off with low pressure across much of Western Europe. There's higher pressure in the Atlantic and over towards Scandinavia. And uh, the jet stream is pushed down there somewhere. So looking rather unsettled in uh, next week. As far as the 500 millibar height anomaly is concerned, from the Arctic and North Pole view down, that's just a little bit more ridging, actually, across Northern Europe with a trough of low pressure sort of down towards the southwest. Again, winds coming in from more of an east or southeasterly direction, potentially. With that, okay, <laughs> so the temperature anomaly next week. Actually above average, uh, mild average for the UK and for Ireland, which is Europe looking mild as well, but it is a lot cooler down towards France, Spain and Portugal. And precipitation-wise, so many areas are actually drier than north, especially northern and eastern regions. Still perhaps a little bit wetter towards the far south and southwest. Right, week two will be the 6th through the 13th of May. Um, okay, so that one has some higher pressure, higher pressure, just to the west of Ireland, lower pressure up to the northeast, and could probably be a little bit from the northwest. Uh, with that, what about 500 millibar heights? How are they looking? Uh, right, okay, so also going back to that northwest sea northerly type flow again, mid Atlantic ridge, um, and a trough of low at Scandinavia, and that brings the wind in. From a northwesterly direction. Doo -doo -doo. Temperature anomalies are lowering and becoming somewhat cooler across the eastern parts of the UK anyway. Generally reverting back closer to average anyway. So it looks like this particular week going through May is uh, cooling things down. And precipitation looks like that. Largely driving average to our south and southwest, of course. Week three <laughs> will be the 13th to the 20th of May with high pressure again in the Atlantic. Low pressure across Germany, France, Bay, Portugal, etc. And again, come back from the wind in from like a northerly type source. What about the uh, 500 millibar height? So that shows a mid Atlantic ridge again. Could be shaping up to be a cool May, actually, unfortunately. Could there be a trough of low through here? How's the temperature anomaly looking? Uh, right, so it's actually, I mean, a little bit cool up here. Uh, Woman average down there. There's not much of a signal, really, is there? Very close to normal, to be honest with that to them. And uh, precipitation wise, it's just a little bit on the driving average side out to the far west and northwest of the country. Week four will be the 20th to the 27th of May. Very, 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 very weak signals by this point. So let's put in a question mark. I'm not going to see Marvin. Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. I'm not going to see Marvin yet. Let's see what 500 millibar heights are doing. So that's still showing a little bit of blocking, but more on the Canadian side of Greenland, actually, by the way. And temperatures look like that. Again, no better than average. Could this be our first cool of an average month um, in May? It certainly isn't looking particularly exciting from a temperature perspective, is it? 
And um, precipitation, I should say, showed no real signal here for the UK and Ireland either. But perhaps, perhaps, perhaps seems to be a little bit wetter in the Atlantic. But it is an incredibly weak signal. Week 5 will be the 27th of May to 3rd June. Here we go. And again, no signal at all doing there, is there? What are we going to do with this? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? 500 millibar heights look like that. What's going on? What's going on? Um, temperature anomalies. Nobody does it like that. Nobody does it like that. Temperature anomalies. Uh, again, no particular signal. So it doesn't look overly warm. Not especially cold. And uh, not that signal for precipitation either. Lastly, week six will be the third to the 10th of June. Oh! <laughs> well, we get to week six and maybe hints of being slightly more unsettled. Quick signal. But possibly a bit of a hint there. Something slightly more unsettled. 500 millibar heights. Absolutely nothing doing with that one. Temperature anomalies. Again, close to average. Not much of a signal. Precipitation anomalies. Maybe, maybe, maybe a little bit on the wetter side. No? If anything else going into June, possibly a strengthening signal for some <laughs> wetter conditions. Oh, dear. So, never mind. It's five weeks, five and six. So, um, not worth worrying about. So, there we go. That's it. Maybe just a snapshot of what Molly showed. Could look completely different when we look at this again. Uh, next week on Tuesday for the European Outlook, said European Outlook, um, or next Saturday for the UK and Ireland focus video. But if you enjoyed the video, anyway, please do like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much, everybody, for doing that for Gals Weathers. And we shall see you again with more very, very soon. But for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.